I think the numbers are going to be quite large again today. Uh, we can hear them um, moving off to our left. They're basically converging on some key traffic at road intersections here, right in the center of Bangkok where we are. The aim is, uh, in effect, to cause complete gridlock, to shut traffic down here in the city center. And I would imagine they would get the numbers to do that. Um, it piles the pressure on after that decision by the main opposition party. Um, now that it appears that the Democrats are more or less alongside, uh, in, in accordance with the protesters' demands, that an election is not enough. Uh, what they want, or at least the main protests, protest leaders are demanding, is an appointed council to replace the government, for the government to resign, and for this appointed council, in effect, to run the country for more than a year while it reshapes the country's political institutions. The government has pointed out that there's no provision in Thailand's constitution for that to happen. They are a legitimately elected government, and it is up to the Prime Minister of the day to decide when an election should be held. Um, but there is a, a, a growing pressure, I think, on Prime Minister Ying Luck to at least reconsider the timing of the election. We had a warning from the military just before the weekend saying that it was very concerned about, in the current climate, about clashes during election campaigning escalating into something more serious, even possibly a civil war. And they're not the only ones making those warnings. So, you know, the Prime Minister is under that pressure. At the moment, she's sticking to her deadline. The polls suggest her party would once again win the election. I suspect in the end, if she is going to concede again and her supporters are getting frustrated by the number of concessions she's having to make, it would be a concession about timing. That would not satisfy these protesters. They want her to go altogether and they want a total uh, rewriting of the political system. Whether that's realistic, of course, is another matter because redrawing Thailand's political map is going to take a very long time, particularly in the current climate. And of course, somebody has to run the country.